Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. I'm Kevin McNew. It's Friday, December 11th. We had a down day in grains. Let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn was off four cents a bushel, beans off seven and a half, and wheat off five cents. Today was yet another day of crude oil sinking to new lows, touching down around $35.30 a barrel, losing another dollar a barrel on, uh, on the market. This is yet more uh, negative pressure on the grains as overall commodities continue to sink. The news out today was also fairly unsupportive for grain. Let's take a look first at Conab's Brazilian forecast for corn and beans. Uh, not a big change in terms of corn number. They raised it just a hair to 82 million metric tons versus their previous month forecast of 81.9. That's still higher than USDA's latest number of 81.5. But the big disparity is on soybeans, where they have it now at 102.5 versus USDA at an even 100 million metric tons. So the indications are continue to be for a large crop out of Brazil. Argentina is coming along well with their season. Uh, rains are pretty plentiful. In some cases, they're actually too much rain. But overall, this is a crop that continues to see uh, improvement and, and the crop size just keeps, keeps getting bigger, which is uh, continuing to sort of lead to problems for the soybean market to sustain any sort of rally. Uh, other news that came out today, USDA released their long-term forecast that they use for baseline projections. But in, in that forecast, we uh, take a look at the 2016-17 projections. I wouldn't put a lot of stock on these numbers. These are not survey-based. They are simply projections that USDA is looking for in the upcoming year. Let's take a look at acreage here. Uh, where does USDA think acres are going to fall next year? They look for corn acres to go up by almost 2 million metric ton, uh, almost 2 million acres, while bean acres fall about 1.2 million acres and wheat acres fall about 1.6. When you look at their balance sheet numbers, <clears throat> for 2016-17. The ending stocks or carryouts that they show for the 16-17 marketing year are not fundamentally different than what we are currently penciling in for 15-16. Both, um, you know, all, all of the numbers across the board in, in corn, uh, you know, we had about a 1.7 million uh, I'm sorry, 1.7 billion bushel carryout for 2015-16. Uh, USDA has that same number uh, roughly for 16-17. And likewise for beans, they show bean carryout above 400 million bushels. Right now, the 15-16 mark is to, uh, 465 million bushels. So these numbers, again, I don't place a lot of stock on them. They're not survey-based, but they are something that, you know, sort of added to the bearish sentiment that continues continues to loom over the market as we look for any sort of positive indication to get this market to rally. That's all we got this week. Take a, have a good weekend and we'll see you next week on Grain TV.